This is a really high quality mod for Beam NG. It's the 1995 Hirochi Mistral, a competitor to the Abishu Covet. This small hatchback is based off the Mitsubishi Mirage from the 1990s, also called the Mitsubishi Colt in some world markets. And as you can see, this model is super high quality and very spot on to the Mirage. I've got to say, you don't see many of these anymore in the world, um, at least not where I'm from in the UK, but this is bringing back a lot of memories of me seeing these in the real world. Um, we're going to be driving this today. I am looking forward to it because it does have some really interesting variants. And as you can see, we've got a, a new kind of steering wheel. The uh, hubcaps are all custom. But yeah, it's a competitor to the Abishu Covet, and it's great to see a mod that is actually kind of high, higher quality in some ways than the vanilla hatchback. So let's get this thing on the road. It's the GX, pretty much the lowest um, spec you can get. It's got a fruity engine, front wheel drive, of course. Oh, yeah. And it does handle really well. The interior is beautiful, as you can see. We've got these interesting pattern seats. Whoa! Don't want to crash yet. But these interesting, like, pattern seats. I want to reset. that. Um, you just don't see anymore. I, I can't remember the last time I saw a new car with these kind of seats. I think they're completely out of fashion. But um, let's take this thing for a spin. We're not going to go up there. And then we'll do a little crash test before we move on to one of the different variants. It handles pretty well really well sorted. The physics are great on this. It's just not very powerful. Right. Yeah. Let's uh, crash into this lamppost. Oh, here we go. Yeah. A brilliant crash model. I kind of judge mods um, based on the crash physics and if it's got a well detailed crash model. That usually is the sign of a high quality mod, and this looks great. Look at that, you, even, you can even see underneath the panelling, like where it's been stamped and pressed the steel, it's great. Okay, so let's have a look, here we go, Hirochi Mistral. There are several variants to look at. Now, we're in the GX, let's have a quick look at the FX, the most basic version. The only real difference here is that the, um, I guess it's like a less metallic paint and we don't even have any hubcaps We've just got these rusty sort of steel wheels. So uh, yeah, I think you get the idea with that But if we move on to something like the GX facelift, no the GXL a mid trim sporting model with a more powerful 1.5 litre engine a passenger airbag and a spoiler now I don't think there are actually gonna be any airbags airbags like deploy in this but um, still Slightly nicer interior. That's for sure. Yeah, We've got a rev counter as well. I'm kind of, I'm kind of glad that uh, even in the cheapest cars now, there are very few cars you can get in the real world um, in this day and age which don't have a rev counter. They're just, they're just so useful, aren't they? You don't really need them, but you have to kind of judge your, you know, the speed of the engine by the sound, which probably isn't very safe. But anyway, so it's a bit sportier. It's got ABS, nice. Look, airbag printed on the steering wheel there. Can we see the airbag over there? I guess you sort of can because there's the panel for it to pop out above the glove box. Come on, let's try it. If we hit this mountain, what's going to happen? There's a rock. There's a big rock. Bang! Up we go. Yeah, no airbags, but as you can see, it actually took that, that crash quite well, although the front half shafts are completely broken. Whee! Down the hill. Oops. Now, does, does this have openable doors? Oh, that's a shame. It doesn't have openable doors. Um, how are we going to get off here? I don't think we are. Okay. F7. There we go. Right. The next one along is the, the GXL facelift. Okay. That's pretty much the same as what we've driven. The GXL V6. A rare, tiny yet smooth 1.6 litre quad cam V6 engine. It's got 140 brake horsepower, which is like 30 more than the, um, I guess, four cylinder one. So let's try that out. What's this going to sound like? Oh, even fruitier. That is wow. Okay. A lot of wheel spin. Wheel spin in second gear. Okay. I like the colour. I wouldn't usually have like a pink car, but um, I do remember when I played Gran Turismo, 
quite a, a while back, probably like Gran Turismo 4, I think. Um, sometimes I would buy the Mirage as my starting car in a new profile. Whoa. Or was it Gran Turismo 5? I can't really remember, but the, the, this car was definitely in that game. Wee. I can't see through the trees. Let's have a look at the lights. Oh, yeah. We've got fog lights as well. Alt and end some of the fog lights, if you didn't know. Indicators. Yeah, really nicely modelled lights. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, low down. That V6 sounds great. Okay. Let's get up some speed. What can this thing do? I mean, revving to over 7,000 is just... V6s are amazing, aren't they? Wee. Well, there's 95, 100 in a hatchback. Very few hatchbacks can really do that speed. Or maybe they can now, you know. Hatchbacks are quite powerful compared to what they were in the 90s. Into the tunnel. Let's do a crash at 120. Here we go. Oh, actually not... 120 mile per hour crash, not as bad. I mean, you would die. Look at the... The steering wheel is basically where your chest would be. So that's not great, is it? But anyway. Okay. The next variant, I think, is going to be a sporty version. So, the SX. A sport 1.5 litre model featuring a body kit, better wheels, a high spoiler, and increased power. What? It's only got 105 horsepower. It's not that much. Maybe we could go for the SX facelift instead. Yeah, why not? The SX face facelift, it has a bit more power. Here we go. So I like the body kit. It's, it's quite subtle. I mean, the spoiler is fairly big. It's not even, it's not, you know, it's more than a lip. It's an actual proper spoiler. It's got so much wheel spin. So yeah. It doesn't feel that much slower than the um, V6. It's a little bit more free revving, I'd say. It doesn't rev as high, but it does seem to be a bit more urgent to rev. Whoa. It doesn't have the nice um, exhaust note. Whoa, we've got a square exhaust. Look at that. That's cool. Okay, we're in kilometers per hour, unfortunately. But if we go to this view, we're in miles per hour. I mean, I know the UK is one of the only countries in the world that uses mile per hour, but it's just what I've grown up with. This car doesn't have any six-speed gearbox variants, I don't think. Whee! What's its high-speed stability like? Oh, that's a cool camera angle. Wow, we're doing some, like, tricks here. Holy moly. Yeah, high-speed stability isn't bad. I mean, you can control it when you go into, like, a spin. Let's do a sort of a trick here. Whee! Oh, the back got ripped off. Oh, wait, was that the roof? I don't know what got ripped off. Doesn't have a sunroof. Okay. Moving on. So much more to see. Um, the SX Turbo. Again, we'll have a look at the facelift. It does seem to be a bit more, a bit meaner, the, the um, body kit on the facelift. A rare turbocharged sport model with a low boost turbocharger, a strut bar and distinctive details. I suppose that means light pressure turbo. Oh, now <laughs> look at that. Turbo intercooler. I, I wish we still had those like crazy 80s style neon badging on cars. Look, it's on the side as well. 1.5 litre, double overhead cam, 16 valve, something. I can't read the rest of it. Okay. Not much wheel spin yet. Can barely hear the turbo. Oh yes. This feels faster. Got red brake calipers as well. Okay, we're gonna go through the tunnel. Yeah, it does a little bit more sporty suspension, less body roll into the tunnel. It does grip. Can we brake? Oh no, don't hit the wall. Wow, you really can regain control quite easily. We've got a... Does that work down there? The, um, the kilometre reading? I don't think that's going to change. No, probably not. I've only seen a couple of mods where these... What are, they, are they called tachometers? I don't know what they're called. No. Odometer, that's it. Odometer. I've only seen one or two mods where the odometer actually changes and it like saves the progress. No, sorry, I can hear either. It saves the progress of your mileage across the whole mod, no matter which session we're in. If you come like the next day, it'll still save how many miles you've done in that mod. It's kind of cool. Oh, yes. Right. Oh, 
Damn it, I wasn't even looking where I was going. Okay. Now we get to the really cool variant, the V6 Monarch, a retro-styled limited edition GXL model sporting a smooth quad cam V6, chrome trims, leather inserts, a dashboard with wood inserts, and an automatic gearbox. This is like, I guess, the luxury trim, um, which, I mean, I know that Mini used to do this. They used to have something called the Mini Mayfair, which I guess sounds quite close to Monarch, doesn't it? The Mini Mayfair was exactly like this. It was just an old classic Mini Cooper that they'd put like nice interior and a slightly different engine in to make it a little bit more posh. Whoa. <laughs> it's very body rolly. Wow. The chrome trim does not... No, I don't think that does anything. But um, it is the kind of slightly tasteless thing they would do to sell a car. And look, look how little wood there is in here. There's no wood at all. It's just one bit around the air vent, a bit on the wheel. Yeah. I, I do recognise, this was definitely in fashion for some cars in the 90s. Especially Japanese cars, to be honest. Wow, again, a cool camera angle. Bang! Yay. Ooh! The parcel shelf moves! Look at that! The parcel shelf moves! Wow! I've never seen that before. Okay. Yeah, definitely this mod is higher quality than the Covet. Right. The TSR is a... It's a VTEC, everyone. We've got a VTEC. Um, we're going to go for the robot version. Fitted with semi slick tyres, race suspension, factory decals, snap over steer, and even more power. Okie dokie. Yeah. VTEC time. Here we go. Oh. Now that is an awesome engine side sound. Okay. Right, let's see if we can feel the VTEC kick in. Here we go. 4,000, 5,000. There you go, 6,000 is off! What? It's amazing how they can model the VTEC in this game, the modders. It's amazing. See if we can, see if you can spot it, ready? Just after 6,000 it goes! I really do admire Honda's VTEC engines. I mean, obviously the people who drive them maybe annoy some people with the driving around, you know, 3am in the morning, 3am in the morning, you know, 3am. Loud exhausts, you always hear them, and you can always tell because they have such a distinctive noise. But um, they're awesome cars, they really are. I get why people are interested in them. Come on. Oh! Did Mitsubishi use VTEC? I don't know. This thing is just flying. Holy moly! Go over here, brake, 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 brake. Good brakes, yes. Whoops, slightly scratched that. <laughs> this is uh, uh, just insanely, it's probably the fastest hatchback I've driven um, in this game, but we do have more to look at, so let's continue on. I did skip some, but just because I wanted to, you know, get through all of these. So we've got the amateur rally, but let's move on to the sleeper. We'll come back to the rally ones. So the sleeper, this turbocharged racer is the embodiment of don't judge a book by its cover. So we've got a nice livery here, all rusted up. I do like the look of this. It looks very realistic, kind of rust effect. Here we go. We've got nitrous. Whoa. This is even faster. We've got LEDs on the dashboard to tell us when to change gear. Oh, it's slidey. It's big slidey. Okay, done third. I, I need to get on the motorway or something. Here we go. Here's the entrance. The on-ramp. Handbrake. Whoa. That turbo does kick in, but... Right, I think 150 is possible in this. Wheel spin in fifth gear. Good. Whoa. 180. Right, let's crash it. Here we go. Bang! There goes the wheel! Oh, we're, we're wall riding! Oh no. Wow. What a beast. And a huge exhaust as well. Okay. Just a few more now. So we've got the track day, V6 and the straight four. What's got more power? Actually, the straight four does. Let's, uh, let's go for that. So I need to go to the racetrack. Um, which we can do from here. 
the racetrack. Oh, nice digital display down there. Looks good. Okay, brake. Good brakes. Wow, very grippy. Really very grippy. Amazing tyres on this thing. Look, we've got an orange roll cage. You can hear the wastegate. Wow. Yes. I do prefer this to the Ibishu Covert. I've got, <laughs> look at it. So grippy. They really need to do that remaster of the Covert. Um, I don't know when it's coming out. It's meant to be coming out within this update cycle, like the 0.25 update cycle. But as it stands, better than the Covert. I'm sorry. All the Covet lovers out there are screaming right now, but you got to check this mod out, man. It's great. Oh, yes. Right. It's time to have a look at the... Oh, those brakes. The final couple of variants. Which are the rally ones? Uh, which one are we going to look at? We've got an asphalt racer, asphalt rally car, a gravel racer, or the amateur rally. A spruced up TSR model for amateur rallying. Let's try that. I love it because it's got the VTEC engine. So, where is the rally track on this map? Isn't it over here? Yeah. The dirt track will do. Here we go. Amateur rally. Let's go. Oh, yes. So, can we flick it into the corner a bit? Yes. Pretty good tyres for this kind of dirt. Oh, it's slightly rattly at lower RPM. Hear that? Like a lawn mower. <laughs> no, that's, I can't say that. That's horrible. Jump. Here we go. We have got a roll cage. We should be okay. Yes. It's a bit wrecked, but, um, you know, rally cars should be able to handle the jumps. Bang. So there we go, the Hirochi Mistral, a brand new mod, go and check it out, it's on the repository. Awesome, awesome mod. Um, I love to see a new hatchback in this, in this game, a competitor for the Covert. Um, hopefully the Covert remaster does come out, but as it stands, I do prefer this, it's a better hatchback. So, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to like it, and uh, let me know what you think of this mod in the comments down below. I will see you soon for some more Simulator Adventures. Make sure to join my Discord server from the link in the description. Simulator Adventures channel memberships are available from as little as $1.99 per month and grant you access to exclusive perks including members only videos. Click the join button below this video to find out more. Special thanks to Ultra Sim fan Oh My Mandy.